Welcome to this new video of SMOD. And now I will try to show how to make an image happier from a patchwork of image. So first thing, I will create a plane and a 3D camera because when working in a 3D environment, always better to have a camera. Then fit the size of the plane to the screen, all right. And now to make my patchwork, I will not use the surface renderer. So let's get rid of that and use the sprite points renderer instead. And then I will add these images from the standard pack inside my sprite points renderer. I hate to see this word. It's very, very hard to pronounce renderer. And so let's add these four images inside the renderer. All right, let's see what's going on. So as you may see, the sprite points renderer does not conserve the ratio of the images. Uh, you have to set that manually inside its parameter here. And other things that you may see uh, right now, if I move a little bit my camera, you have this ugly stuff going on here. It's because right now all my sprite points are on the same plane. So they are coplanar and overlapping. So it's kind of ugly. And there are two options to fix that issue. First, select the sprite points renderer and disable the write and test inside the dev buffer. And so this will solve the issue, but better to just adjust the ratio. And so the sprite points will not overlap. Right now, the thing that you may notice is that all my four images I can or blended one into another. It's because inside the sprite points parameter, I must change the sprites interpolation from linear to nearest. And now my images are well displayed. And then the images are dispatched over the plane through the random selector. So by selecting it, I can change the seed, for instance, to change the way my images will be displayed on the plane. So before going further, I will add a little bit more of resolution over my plane. And to do that, I will change here its precision from let's say, 200 by 180. Before, let's see, let's zoom with the camera. Control Shift click to a more precise manipulation adjust the size of the sprite points All right control shift okay should be fine enough for this demonstration and now i'm going to before making the face appear i'm going to parameter a little bit uh, the animation of my camera So to do that, I will use uh, the placement distance of the parameter camera, right click, expose the space stage parameter, and now I have this little value here that I will rename animation. And inside this parameter, I will, inside the function editor, parameter the minimum and maximum value I want to give to the uh, camera distance. So maximum value would be something like that, and minimum value is something like that. So if I move this feather here, this parameter, then I move the animation of my camera. As we are talking about the zoom here, I will change a little bit the animation of my camera, of my placement here, by selecting inside the curve mode, by selecting the two points, right click, set as Bezier, Hold shift to use the magnet tool and change a little bit the animation curve of my camera. And now it should feel more linear if I'm moving that by hand. So yeah, that's all right. Now, last step is I'm going to make a face up here over the plane. So I will for that use an attribute modifier, colorize layer, which right now is constituted only of a white uniform. That's why nothing changes. If I put, for instance, red, then everything is changed to red. And before going further, I will use a Control Shift C to make a composition of the um, colorized layer map, so I will have more 
how to say, margin of error when I will uh, do my composition. And then let's go inside my media and use this holy image I found on the internet and place it inside the composition. And so right now I have this nice face appearing over my plane. So if I move my camera, you may see that at the beginning, of course, now my images have uh, a different color gradient, sort of. And so uh, to fix that, we are going to use this function, this animation function, and drag into it the intensity of the colorize layer, the modifiers that allow me to display the face over the sprites, and drag and drop its intensity. So it will go from 0 to 100%. And now if I move this value, at the beginning there's no effect, and the modifier will apply it little by little by little, like that. And let's say, let's zoom in a little bit. All right. So that's almost the end of the tutorial. I can show some more stuff because, of course, right now I'm using only images, but I can use video, for instance. And so to do that, I will do a little compositing inside this composition. And so what I can do also is if I want to have only the face and not the white background, what I can do is use uh, over this composition here, use a mask, color mask, chroma key white. And so as you may see, I removed the white background. And to get rid of these white edges, I can add over my composition a utility half a choker. And now let's do a little bit of compositing as we have this nice composition here. And for now, the mask and the half a choker, I will put them directly over Jean Claude and remove the white uniform. So, which will do exactly the same. And I will add a little video input layer to the layer, video input layer. And so let's place it over the head. And now what I want to do is to use the head of Jacques Van Damme here to use it as mask for my video input layer, which is a video input that comes from my webcam, of course, as you may see. And to do that, what I will do is, first thing first, I notice that my two layers are very different ratio, so I will do a composition for the two of them, so now I have two images that are exactly uh, in the same space. This one will be include, and this one will be me. It could be the name of this composition, me and Jen Claude. And so I will share the Jen Claude composition with right click share element. And now I have this shared element here and the instance of uh, this shared element. And I will use this image. No, I can use it in many different ways. And what I'm going to do is use it over this composition, doing a right click, mask, layer mask and using the JEC composition inside the layer mask. Holding Alt and drag and dropping the layer. Use as generator. And now I will select the layer and change its color selector type, color selector channel from luminance to alpha. And now I'm well masked by John Claude. And the interest of using uh, these references, this shared element instead of just doing a duplicate, it's that right now also inside this composition, if I add, for instance, let's see this composition, if I add a 2D uniform layer inside this composition, then this will modify my background composition, the composition job of Jean Claude, as well as the mask. So it's more versatile this way. And to do a final trick, what I can do is 
use over this composition, which contains the video input layer, a little bit of low color quality color grading, color grading for the lazy. Right, let's use the color balance instead. Color balance and a little bit. Let's say it work. And now to finish as a final trick, what I can do, and it's kind of a premiere in SMOD, it's well, first adding a little bit of exposure so we see better what's going on. Color exposure. All right. And now, as you may see, real time, real time lighting. Yeah, baby. Who's talking? That's me and Jean Claude Van Damme. All right. Photo stage, real life. Yeah. Who's your mommy now? Yeah, who's your mommy? That's me, Jean Claude. All right, so that's all for tonight. Hope this tutorial call can be of some use to you. And to finish in beautiful shape, I will add a little distort displace modifier with a fucking mask noise 2D with And now let's say goodbye. Ah, Captain, Captain, we are lost. 